Hi guys, this is Kushal Kumar here and today I will be teaching you about formatted input output in C. So let's get started. So what does this formatting of input output mean here? It means that data will be formatted for the purpose of presentation and uh, here we use W which stands for the width of input or output and it comes between format specifier as you can see here and now let's make an integer called num and make a scanner function here and give it a percentage 2d this means the width of input will be 2 that is an integer of digits not more than 2 will be accepted here Now let's print it out by using print function percentage d now build it run it as you can see only a two digit number will give output if you give it 234 you will see only the two digits has been taken the third has been ignored by the compiler so we should be careful about this we should not give values which are more than the width defined here you can see one more thing right percentage 3d here and num num1 right num1 here with address operator and print out num and num1 percentage t here now let's see what happens this is important give it a space now build it run it now let's see if you give it 3 4 5 and then after space give the second value you will see that the first variable could take only two digits so after this 5 went to the second variable and after 5 there is nothing except space and after space there is 67 which is the third value here and there is no need for the third value so the scanning finishes here and then it outputs 34 as the first one and 5 as the second one of course what you can do is it will work fine if you give it only two digits and three for this now what if we provide a width to this printf function here let's say we change the width to 4 here and to 5 here now give it the width of 3 4 for this now let's run it if you give a number less than 3 digits for the first one and less than 4 digits for the second one you will find that there is a space here and here this is the effect of formatting here as you can see output is right justified if less than w so this was less than w w was 3 and the digits were 2 so it got right justified but it took only three digit space as it was specified in the width area here and this one took four digit space which was specified here so this is how formatting works in integer one more thing if you provide a digit greater than 3 here and greater than 4 here which is possible because input has 4 width and 5 width here so it satisfies a condition click on enter we will see that the output is right which means that if the digits are more than specified in the width of the printf function in case of integers it works fine without any problem so in case of float w is width which includes decimal also so w includes digits before and after decimal points and decimal itself if the input is more than w in case of float let's see what happens let's convert it into float put f here and now now give input more than specified in the 
width of scanner function you will see that there was only width of 4 and 5 here so only 4 digits are taken here and only one digit is taken here this is because num took the first four digits and after that the next digit was five which was saved in the num one and after that a space came which indicated that a next value will start after this space and the next value was this and this value couldn't be saved anywhere because both of the numbers num and num1 are filled already so that's the problem that occurs in case of float if we give values more than indicated by the formatting here so that was about input of float let's now see how output is done in case of float as you can see w.nf has been used here the same way in integer it is also write justified if less than w more than w is fine as in case of integer n indicates how many digits after decimal are possible if there are more than n digits after decimal then they get rounded off now let's write 3.1 here and 4.2 here 1 is n in this case and 2 is n in this case so this means there will be total width of 3 and out of 3 1 will come after decimal and here there will be total width of 4 and out of which 2 will come after the decimal let's see how it works as you can see you can give 4 digits in the scanf let's give 4 digits and let's give 5 digits here you will see there is one zero added here and two zeros added here because of the fact that more than w is fine and n denotes how much numbers will come after the decimal in both the cases here n is one so one zero is here and here n is two so two zeros are here now give values less than the w here and here write something big here now give some values here 0.9 and 5.7 now you will see that the width has been left before 3.9 in this case and before 5.70 in this case and this is space between these two widths so that means it's right justified because it's on the right side the values on the left side are empty now let's see how it works with strings formatting is the same as with others percentage w s for input and less is fine more is not like here must not be more than w must not be more than w and the same thing is here it should not be more than w so let's see a character char will be used to create the string as i told you before we will study strings in detail later but for now you have to use this bare minimum as you might remember there is no need for this character here so write s here str now let's see if it works give a string and press enter you will see only three of the characters of the string will be saved because you wrote 3 here the width was only 3 less than 3 could be saved but not more than that because there was space for only 3 characters the other thing is output in case of strings you will see percentage w.ns is used here n says only n characters will be displayed right justified like in case of others and more is fine the same as here and here right justified right justified so n has a special role here n says only n characters will be displayed out of w characters let's see what that means so let's say there are four characters and out of this only three will be outputted so if you give it a string of four or more than four programming is one and press enter you will see only pro is saved and it is right justified so out of four only three are saved four was a width that's why a space is here because the width was of 4 so out of 4 only 3 are saved and they are right justified 
so there is one more thing called suppression character in C let's see how it works let's say you're giving this value but you are putting a star over here and let's try to run it so you gave some string and then you pressed enter you see nothing got saved in the str string this is because this means skip the input that is corresponding to this format specifier so if we have two percentage s here and two of them here and with str we have str1 same for this one and then we have a declaration for str1 also now if you build it run it and after this give two strings and now hit enter again first you hit enter by putting the first string that i did after writing kushal here and then now i'm going to press enter after writing kush here so you will see kushal didn't come because it got skipped because of this character the first one got skipped and the second one is given to this str so now str has this kush and the second one hasn't been given any value so it will take some garbage value so that's how suppression character works in c so that's all about formatting in c if you have any questions put them in the comment box below and i'll see you in the next video have a nice day